Hi guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we are going to show you how to create a map chart like this in MS Excel. So the recent versions of Excel can automatically create map charts like this as long as you're connected to the internet. So you would know if your Excel can create map charts if you go to insert and under insert, you should see there that you have maps. Okay, so this is the button that we will click later to create a map chart. If you do not have this, then chances are your Excel version doesn't support this yet. So that means you have to upgrade to the latest version of Excel. So let's start with a blank worksheet. So take note that in order to create a map chart, you need to have the names of the places okay, entered in the worksheet. So let's start. I'm going to enter names of Southeast Asian countries. So let's say we have Philippines, we have Singapore, say we have Malaysia, say we have Indonesia, we have Thailand. You will notice that if you are entering names of places, Excel will eventually prompt you to convert this into geography. So it's up to you if you want to do that. But in our case, we really have to convert to geography because we're going to make a map chart. And take note that this will only happen if you are connected to the internet. If not, then you will not get any prompts like this. So we can now click this one and excel will connect to the internet and sort of like start plotting these places take note that you can enter names of countries cities continents okay regions but not anything smaller than that so if you're thinking of creating a chart for streets avenues subdivisions or smaller um, areas Unfortunately, Excel cannot do that for you. So only until CT. And take note that once Excel successfully connects to the internet and sort of like maps the places, the cells will now have a map icon at the beginning of the entries. So like this. And moving forward, if you're going to enter more places, you will notice that Excel will start sort of connecting to the internet and adding that place in our map. Okay. And of course, the next step is for us to put some numbers. Of course, if you're going to make a map chart and you're going to plot them with something, you have to put numbers, right? So let's say for this example, we're just going to sort of like put quantity sold per country. So I'm just going to put random numbers here. No meaning at all. I'm just entering numbers as I'm typing. Okay. And now that you have your column for the country and the quantity, we're now ready to create a map chart. So like any other chart in Excel, you have to highlight the range of cells containing the data and then go to insert and then select the type of chart that you want to create so for our video like what we mentioned we're going to make a map chart so we're going to drop down the maps button and we have one available kind of chart for this the field map chart and we can click that and as you could see we already now have a map chart so take note that sometimes it will take a long time to produce this kind of chart depends on your internet connection and depends on how large your area is supposed to cover. So here I'm getting the map of Asia and let's say that I want to modify my chart so that I don't see the other countries that are well not plotted in my data. So for that we have to right click on the map itself because we have to access format data series. So take note that if you right click somewhere else in the chart, 
like maybe on the edge you will not get that option format data series so you must right click on the chart itself to get this button which will produce this format data series pane on the right side of your excel screen so you have several options here and the one that we want to control would be the map area so excel automatically created the map of asia for you but you can also just select only regions with data so that you get to focus on your plotted area in the map so you don't have those extra countries in your map chart take note by the way that i'm getting countries from asia because excel sort of like intelligently figured out that you're focusing on asia so if you type more countries then you will get a larger map or if you type african countries then you will get the african continent if you type american countries then you will get either north america or south america so it really depends and excel is intelligent enough to sort of like plot just make sure that you do not spell anything incorrectly because of course excel will not be able to figure it out if you misspelled a name of a country and of course the, the country should exist and then let's see what other things we can do in our map chart so we can also put labels in our chart so let's say you want to see the names of the countries so we can show all the names but as you could see we have some problems because since this is a map not not all names can be visible like for the Malaysia, we only see the letter M because, well, in this map, we can only plot the letter M in the chart. So it's up to you if you're okay with that. Or if you want, you can just choose the best fit only so that only those with full name will be visible in your chart. Or if you don't like to be inconsistent with your chart, then you can just click none. The next thing that we want to address here will be the color. So as you, uh, as you notice, we have bluish monochromatic chart here. You can change that by going to the series color where you will see that we actually have a sequential type of coloring. We have two colors. We have uh, light blue assigned to the lowest value and then we have dark blue assigned to the highest value. And it sort of like transitions from that light blue to dark blue as you go from lowest to highest so you can change the colors from here let's say for the lowest i will go with red and for the highest i will go with green if you want you can also add a third color so you can drop down here and choose diverging so that you can select a middle color let's say for this one i'll choose the yellow color and that's it as you could see, we now have our map chart, sort of like a heat map, thermal map kind of chart wherein the lowest values are red and the highest values are green. And we're getting a transition from those colors that we chose. So I hope you learned, uh, you've learned something in this video. And I hope you can hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions about this procedure, Feel free to use the comment and I will do my best to answer you as soon as I can. For now, that's it and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.